In match number 13, it will be Belgium up against Panama. So it's the golden age of Belgium once again, and they're starting on 11 for this match. It will look like this. Courtois and goal, Alderweireld, company, Vermaelen, Vertonghen, Hazard, Fitzel, Fellaini, De Bruyne, Lukaku, and Benteke up front with the likes of Defoe, Nangolin, Bashui, and Mertens on the bench. What a 11. What a squad to choose from. As for Panama, their starting 11 looks like this. Calderon, Torres, Baloy, Davis, Gomez, Quintero, Godoy, Barcenas, Cooper, Torres, and Perez up front. In fact, yeah, we'll go with that. So, this will be match number 13. Belgium kicking off in their traditional all-red strip. Panama in there. White and red. I'm not sure if that's traditional, but uh, that's what they've that's what that's what they've got. And this match, when it takes place in the real world, in the real World Cup. In fact, let's hold out for this highlight. Turn and shoot. Oh, Belgium with an early bit of pressure on the Panama keeper. But this match will take place 18th of June at the Fished Olympic Stadium in Sochi. For everyone should remember the Sochi Winter Games as the Winter World Cup. Well, it's a World Cup. The Winter Olympics is actually going on at the moment of recording this. As you know, when this actually goes online, I doubt the Olympics will be on. But uh, Belgium looking good so far. Panama upsetting the world of football when they upset the odds, really, by finishing ahead of the United States. And they've broke a lot of American hearts, so they won't be at the World Cup. It's actually the first World Cup that they've missed in a long, long time, despite their poor performances at the World Cup, the USA. Uh, can Panama do the uh, Central American Confederation proud at the World Cup? Obviously, Costa Rica are also in that mix, as well as Mexico. Uh, Costa Rica did, the, did that region very proud last time out, finishing in the quarterfinals. Mexico, ever presence and uh, as always a dominant force in Central American football. But this is an opportunity for uh, an underdog uh, such as Panama. I do recall when Jamaica and Trinidad both qualified for World Cups over recent, recent years. They uh, all did horrendously. Um, but that's a quick effort there by Belgium. To, they've really been peppering the goal in the first minute and a half of this simulation. Uh, if, if you're new to these simulations, we do play two four-minute halves. As uh, this group gets underway, Group G, which consists of both, obviously Belgium and Panama, but also includes Tunisia and England. Uh, this group, I would think, on paper, as Belgium... Oh, it was teasing. Teasing. But I'd say Belgium and England should both qualify from this quite comfortably. And if they do not get at least six points uh, between... Well, six po points each... It would be a little bit of an, an embarrassment. And they don't want to get into a situation where they were in the last World Cup, I believe. I think they uh, they failed to get out of the group stages. Uh, let me uh, let me just try and rack my brains about that. I, I don't think... Um, I don't think England did, did themselves any favours last time out. No, they finished, they finished bottom, but they were in a stonkingly hard group with... Well, not really a hard group. You would think they would have qualified or at least battled for third place. But uh, they were in a group with Costa Rica, Uruguay, Italy, and, of course, England. Um, and Costa Rica came out topping that group with Uruguay second. Uh, but anyway, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about the 2018 World Cup with these two guys. Uh, Will Belgium, who have such a, a quality squad... And now managed by uh, Roberto Martinez, formerly of Everton. Can they can they get to the dizzy heights of maybe quarterfinals, semi-finals, and actually push the boundary? They were they were they did so well. Well, they did they did well enough. I think they got to the semis. No, they got to the quarterfinals of the Euros. They got knocked out by Wales, who eventually made it to the to the semis. Unfortunately, Wales never qualify for the World Cup. In fact, it's all changed now at Wales with, with Coleman now going into club management with Sundra, not doing too well. And Ryan Giggs now. Look, what was that? Was that a dive or was that a diving header? But really, so far in this simulation, it's all been Belgium as Panama try to uh, try to, to do something, but they're really not in this. 
um, if you are new to the simulations and you've never played this game before FIFA 95 it was released way back in August 1994 Panama were never in the original game Belgium were I've obviously uh, had the uh, with with a little helping hand managed to tweak the squads that's nil nil first half and who gets us a Panama kick us off for the second half as I was saying um, in the first half because this is such a riveting game uh, that I've managed with a little helping hand from a guy called Dave Jordan out in Chicago who helped me uh, tweak this this version of FIFA so that we could bring it right up to the present day it's just an experiment nothing nothing more nothing less as Belgium continue I don't know how many shots on target they've had thus far but the keeper is keeping them in this game for Panama uh, but yes, so we decided to, you know, uh, well, he didn't decide nothing. It was all me. I decided to uh, simulate the whole World Cup 95 retro style. Uh, obviously, a lot of folks doing it uh, more modern ways with FIFA 2018 and Pro Evolution Soccer and the latest version of that. But I thought I'd uh, go 16-bit and try and do it this way. And uh, it's, it's interesting as Belgium take a lead here. Finally, it's one of the big boys, either Lukaku or Benteke. They all look the same, though. That's one of the attributes, one of the areas I couldn't really tweak. But it is. Lukaku gets us, gets Belgium underway in the 2018 World Cup. But they have the squad. Belgium have the squad to really go far. Um, I, I, I would say out of the European teams, France, Belgium, Germany, are your big boys. I'd say, I'd say out of those, you know, those three... Uh, your, your one's likely to feature in the last four. I'm not saying they're all going to make it, but I don't think Spain have it. I don't think Portugal have it. Uh, England, woeful. And then, your, you know, your, your Denmark, your Sweden, your Switzerland, and your Croatias and all that kind of stuff. They're going to be chipping away and, you know, maybe get to the second round. But Belgium, France, Germany, they're going to be there or thereabouts. Uh, who else? Who else is in the... Uh, uh, Brazil will be there or thereabouts. I think Argentina would be there or thereabouts. So that's five teams. Um, and I'd, I'd like to see, on a personal level, I'd like to see some real classic uh, semi-finals. You know, with like a France, Germany, or a, or a Brazil, Argentina, or a Brazil, Germany, and Argentina, France, or something like that. Uh, or Belgium. Belgium, I think, you know, would be good as well. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to the World Cup. I always do. Uh, if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. I do a lot of World Cup content as Belgium look for a second. Obviously, we're doing all these simulation games. Also, Cast the Cat is out there predicting each and every one of the World Cup games. She's got a bit of a reputation of picking picking the right side. Uh, but what you'll be aware of when you watch her predictions, there's only, there's only two possible outcomes. Uh, a win either way. So there's no draws. So she keeps it pretty bog standard. Uh, she doesn't like draws. Um, but yes, Belgium looking good so far in my simulation with that 1-0 lead, which will uh, go nicely. They should beat these boys, and they should beat Tunisia, as should England. No pressure, England, and you'll be next. That's right, England versus Tunisia will be next. Nice control there as they try and keep possession but they give it away it's not over yet it's only one goal and it does take only one one second to score a goal but if a second by Belgium would really wrap this baby up as we're into the last minute of the match Panama looking looking bewildered at the moment Belgium just just riding it out but one lapse of concentration though and that will be it but they get the ball back last 30 seconds Cross it forward to nobody. There was nobody there, mate. Nobody there. Punts it forward. He'll keep it alive. Come on, battle it. Battle it. Sets him up. Come on. Dig it over. Can't get through. Panama now. Last few seconds of the match. Is there a second goal in this? Could be. Oh, well defended. Belgium looking calm, but they're giving away. As we've done the eight minutes allocated. What does the ref give for extra time? That's it. 1-0. Belgium 1. Panama nil. So, here's a quick rundown of statistics. Five shots for uh, Belgium. Four saves. Obviously, one of them slipped through his fingers to give them the goal. 
Just to recap the goal scorer, it was Lukaku, just shy of five minutes. No yellow cards, I repeat, no yellows. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching, please like, share and of course subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.